wild dog behaviour, uh, uh, the wild dogs in this country, they, they've got a, uh, a home range of about 10,000 hectares and that 10,000 hectares doesn't have to be a square block, it can be along a ridge line and it can uh, extend up to 15, 20 kilometres and uh, those wild dogs, uh, as, as they're moving around their country, they'll, as I say, they'll take two or three weeks to get around their country and get back to where you are. What the wild dogs are actually doing, they're, uh, they're monitoring their, uh, their territory and they're uh, continually doing that and uh, they'll be uh, actually searching for other dogs that are coming in on them and they'll be going around scenting their country continuously. And uh, as I say, it takes them probably about, around about three or four weeks or even up to six weeks to get back uh, to where they started again and they'll be uh, checking for other wild dog activity in their country. And how you can tell they're, they're a wild dog generally is uh, that uh, they have a particular pattern of moving around their country. They'll come in, on, in from a certain direction, they'll come through a pop hole out of the scrub, they'll pad along uh, a fence line and then they'll uh, go back out through another pop hole and they'll continue on their beat. They don't come in in the same direction or they don't go out in the same direction that what they come in. They'll come in in a certain direction and they'll do this every time, time after time again. They'll come in in a certain direction, uh, they'll pad along a fence line and then they might pad one or two k along their fence line and then they'll leave off in a di different direction. So uh, yeah, uh, that's basically how you can generally tell us a wild dog is, is they, they're they have a particular pattern with it, with, within their movement. Because these wild dogs, they don't just come in and stay there. They, they come in uh, and they'll kill your stock, they'll take off, and they won't come around again for another month because they're just doing their territorial boundaries and it takes them a month to get around their boundaries. And they'll come back and they'll hit your stock overnight and they'll just move on. And you'll be sitting out there like, like a wild animal in the bush with a gun waiting for them to turn up and they don't turn up for another month. And by that time you've given up and then they'll just turn up, hit your stock again. So uh, it's a devastating thing for landholders.